Hi there, everybody. Um, I never did the intro in my live stream for some reason. My name is Derek. Welcome to Scottish Geeks. We are going to be talking about the new, well, they're not exactly new, but they're coming into play this week. Um, the UK TPD, or Tobacco Products Directive Protocol. <sighs> it's, it's like, okay. I am a vapor. I am someone who vapes. I use vaping equipment, vapor, billows from my mouth. And as a vapor, that means I was an ex-smoker. Now, tobacco is something that is contained in cigarettes, therefore should be regulated by the Tobacco Pro uh, Products Directive. However, vaping contains no tobacco and should never, ever, ever have been part of the Tobacco Products Directive. Now, when some people actually start coming into stream, I'm going to show you some of the things that have been really annoying me about it. But while we are streaming, I am going to be vaping throughout. So, hello, Industrial Angel. So, <clears throat> this is one thing, okay? These mods, these mods here, they're okay, right? It's what's on top of the mods that's not okay. <clears throat> these are going to get banned. This is a Cleto. It takes 10 milliliters of liquid, or is it 8? I can't remember. But it takes a lot more liquid than what the government has proposed to us, which is two milliliters. Now, when I vape, I vape heavily. I do this. Because I don't want to vape all day, every day. I just want to have one big deep breath every so often. Now, the problem with the two milliliter tanks is that those big deep breaths will use the majority of the juice up. And if they use the majority of the juice up, you could be filling them up a lot more often, meaning folk who are maybe at work or something, who, you know, shouldn't be vaping, but often do, um, will have to take more time out, there goes my Twitter, uh, have to take more time out, refilling the tanks, wasting precious time, and just really, it's, you know, it's like, it's similar to someone who's taking a cigarette out, having a few puffs run, run away, take a cigarette out, have a few puffs, throw it away. But with these things, they're meant to last you. They're meant to have these for a full day. You don't have to worry too much about it. I only fill this up once a day, generally. Um, but... My main issue, though, is absolutely no thought has been put into this directive in terms of the vapors. The thought that's been put into the terms of this directive is towards gearing people, I would say, back towards tobacco smoking or cigarette smoking or pipe smoking or cigar smoking because, to be honest with you, with the with all the, the stuff that's in place, it's going to put people off. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like heavily regulated tanks, batteries, things like that. And I, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, like, like, you know, that's, I've, I've had to buy myself like a, a, an extra pack of coils that's going to try and do me for five months because after that, I won't be able to buy them unless by that five months somehow Cleto has managed to get the tanks re-regulated but they won't be the same tanks, they'll be smaller tanks and these coils won't fit. So if you've bought yourself, um, you know, like awesome vaping kits in the past three years and stuff like that, welcome to Relic Town main issue again is the fact that we can still get this stuff but we're gonna have to go through other channels shall we say we're gonna have to maybe import stuff and that's not gonna be legal if we get caught that's us in trouble um now our, our, our illustrious government said that this would not pass if um we went through with the the brexit vote but unfortunately the brexit vote went through and still the TPD regulations from the EU went through. Now a, lot, a large amount of vapors voted for Brexit because we thought we were getting it so that we would be left well alone, we would be happier, healthier, non-smokers. Um, but the government's taken away our choice, it has literally taken away our choice. Now some of you might say you know, boo-hoo, you're not good to play with your vape toys and stuff like that. Well, it's not just that, okay? Um, the environmentalists and stuff, you know, they'd be happy if you got rid of cigarettes and vaping altogether. However, environmentalists, I'd just like to show you something, okay? This is 100 milliliters worth of juice, okay? This is what I would normally buy. This would do me for about two or three months. Now, 
I have to buy that. Just to give you a comparison of the size. Right? Okay. Ten of those to one of those. And it's not just plastic. Okay? They have to have these needles in them as well. They also come in a box, cardboard box, that has been printed with um, ink. It comes with instructions, it comes with a warning as well. All of that packaging, all of that waste, and for what? So that you could say, oh, I did it, I managed to get vapors to get angry about something. I mean, seriously, come on. It's insane. It is utterly, utterly insane. I mean, 10 of these bottles compared to one of this. This is less wasteful because I could use this again. This is annoying as fuck. Oh, hi, we Scottish last. I'm sorry, I've. I've I've been kind of like in this rant mode, so I haven't really seen much of the comments going on, but I'm, I am so... I've been peed off about this for ages, because this, this, like I said, when the Brexit vote went through, this was supposed to stop the Tobacco Products Directive from going through, and to leave us alone, and to help countless millions of smokers out there to switch to a healthier alternative. You know, it's... Um, it's insane, it saves money for one thing. I mean, well, it saves us money. But we worked it out a couple of years back when vaping first started becoming a thing. And but at that point, the government were already losing around about £2 billion worth of tax revenue from people who'd quit smoking. Um, I can only imagine how much money they've lost now. And now they've got this new thing where people are having to pay more, people are having to you know, use these crappy little devices that the government has said, these are great! And we're sitting there going, what? Seriously? I mean, come on. Technology. Move with the times, you know? This is, this is like, this isn't like the 70s where it's like, oh my god, the future is so terrifying. It's like, you know, it's like, these things should be terrifying. You know? The fact that people are going to be healthier, there's going to be less cancer, well, less smoking-related cancer in the world. And I don't fucking know, but you know, uh, we Scottish last year says I'm not a smoker, but I do like vapors because the smoke people blow out usually smells amazing, like candy floss and blueberries. I love it, but I hate the smell of normal smoke. Well, the great thing about it is, is it's not smoke; it's um, water vapor. Um, and you know, it's like uh, it's hard to describe. I mean, it's like it's this stigma that a lot of people have. I, I actually have people fake coughing when I walk by them when I'm vaping. I don't vape in front of people. It's like, I haven't actually taken a vape. They'll sit there and go, oh, 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 that smells horrible. You're like, really? You hate the smell of uh, raspberry? Wow. Sucks for you, man. Sucks to be you. Um, and yeah, vaping has been proven um, to be 95% less harmful than cigarette smoking. Um, containing four ingredients, which by the way, uh, they now, well they always should, they now have to put, okay, I was saying about the packaging, alright? <clears throat> That's the packaging now. Again, we'll compare. That's the packaging. That to that. Um, contains, there we go, <clears throat> vegetable glycerin, propylene, gly glycol, nicotine and flavourings. That's that. That's all it contains. Um, but they've got to put all these different things in here. They've got to tell you how much um, nicotine goes per puff. Like, who really looks that shit up? I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a scientist that, that you know of. I might be. I'm not an ethical one. But, you know. Uh, yeah, some vapes don't have nicotine. Um, and propylene glycol is actually the same chemical they put into inhalers. Um, the, you know, the ones that go, that's propylene glycol, and it actually helps clear your throat. And um, a few years back, I actually had one of my one of the clots in my legs actually travel to my lung, causing a minor. Um, I can never remember what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. Lung clot, lung clot. What's it called, Cherry? Cherry, Cherry remembers. Pulmonary embolism, that's the one. Pulmonary embolism. I had a minor pulmonary embolism. And if I hadn't been vaping, it would have killed me. So there you go. Vaping saved my life. Um, I, I want to know... We, okay, we've, I've been talking about this for about 10 minutes. I want you guys to tell me... 
uh, what your opinions on this whole tobacco products directive is. You might be vapors, you might not be vapors, I don't know. I just want your personal opinions on it. And please do, um, when the stream's ended, please do repeat those opinions when this becomes a video. Ah, oh, well I have a little, little vape, yes. Oh hang on, I'll be polite. And also the great thing is that 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 does be very very quickly. Ooh, foggy. Um, share the vid with Jason. Okay. Um, it is, it is a lot of horse shit, industrial angel. Um, it's like it's like the it's like a bunch of people don't fucking know what they're talking about and just want to make a big noise about something. It's like. There's nothing we can do. There's no wars on. Let's let's hit someone. You know, whatever. Um, we Scottish lasses. I feel personally all cigarettes should be banned and people should be forced to use a vape instead because of the health benefits and, and the fact they don't smell bad. Well, yeah, I don't think anyone should be forced to do anything they want. It should be by choice because I'll be honest with you. I, I was a I was a smoke. I was a reluctant smoker, but I hated it when people told me to quit. It just made me want to smoke more. Um, I was very addicted to cigarettes and it took me a while to come round to the whole vape idea. I mean vape, vaping had been about for a good few months before I'd actually started it. It was just by chance I thought, you know what, I'll get a cheap one, I'll give it a go. And I actually got myself a little pen light one, um, an eagle it was called. And um, what happened was is I started vaping and within like a day I, hadn't, I realized I hadn't even looked at my cigarettes. I didn't want to smoke another cigarette. And within a few days, I actually started feeling physically sick when I actually smelled other people smoking. And I was like, did I actually smell that bad? I couldn't believe it. I, you know, I couldn't believe that nobody had told me, but it was horrible. But I've never been one of those high and mighty folk. I wouldn't walk by a smoker and go, oh my God, you stink, because it's their choice. Just as it's my choice to continue to vape, I vape because I want to vape. It's not doing me any harm, it's not doing anyone else any harm. And that's the problem. You know, harm reduction, good, government thinks it's bad. Uh, when did you get the first vape device? How long have you been a smoker before I vaped? Um, I was a smoker for a very, very long time. I think I started smoking when I was about 15 years old or something. And I'm pretty sure I started vaping when I was about 34, possibly. I think it was 34, 33 or 34. Sure, I don't remember better than I do. I'm bad with time. Um, regular smoke. We Scottish lasses. Regular smoke smells terrible and it gets into the clothes of non-smokers. If you're doing it in your own space, fine. But people walk down the street and blow it in your face. Yeah, I know. I mean, well, they don't do it on purpose. Sometimes it's just where the wind blows. But... I don't, I agree with some regulations, right? I agree with the regulations that state that um, there should be a warning label um, because folk are stupid. People are dumb. They will see a bottle of stuff and they'll leave it and their kids might get into it and stuff like that because there's no warning on it. So you put a big warning on it just in case that happens so that if anything does go wrong, you can say, well, you know, <laughs> thanks for being dumb and not reading the label. You know, we need to have a bit of regulation that way. We need to have some of the liquids regulated in, in terms of quality assurance. That, that I agree with. This, putting them into tiny, tiny bottles, which is very harmful for the environment, no. You know, restricting the amount of juice that I can put into a tank, no. But, oh. It's, it's ridiculous. Regulation, proper regulation, is making sure that people have what they need. Okay, making sure that they're safe. Making sure we're not getting substandard, subpar, crappy liquids that people have mixed up and just sold in a, a corner shop somewhere. And, you know, we want to have, like, proper, healthy... We know what's going to go in it, we know what's coming out of it, liquids. But the rest of the regulation is a bunch of bull. It's not just affecting vapors, it's affecting the people who sell vaping equipment, vaping um, 
juices, you know, it's, it's affecting import and outport, it's affecting everything, you know, it's affecting people's livelihoods as well. I mean, like, for example, the people who make these tanks can no longer sell them to the UK or various different parts of the EU. They can sell them in America, they can sell them in China, they can sell them in Japan, they can sell them in India, but they can't sell them to the, to, to the biggest country, well, one of the biggest sort of vaping communities in the world, you know, because it hasn't really hit off quite as much as what we would have thought in, like, the Americans and stuff, because Americans didn't just regulate. The Americans outright banned it in some places. Australia have outright banned it in some places. Um, because a bunch of, like, no, no-name professors said, Vaping gives you more cancer than smoking does. You know, that sort of nonsense. Uh, we Scottish lass, um, sorry, no, no worries. Um, the delegates are returning to the training room. <laughs> no worries. Uh, we'll catch you later on. Um, but yeah, so come on guys, um, give me some give me some more comments here. Sorry for, again for not replying to everyone's comments straight away. I just wanted to try and get some stuff off my chest and I will continue to rant because I'm still madly peeved over the whole bloody thing, dear, yes. Okay, so I'll shut up for a second. Come to China, we sell vapes. You do, and, if, and in fact that's where a lot of people are going to have to start buying their stuff now, is in the likes of China or American imports and things like that, and it's going to cost a bit more, but what, what else can we do? You know, there's no choice now, there's no... That, that's if that's if stuff gets through customs, of course, you know, eBay! But again, we've got to worry about things like customs because, I mean, they might start doing random packet openings and things like that. We literally have till Saturday to buy up any and all juices and stuff we can before we're fucked and we have to deal with this shit all the time. I just... I can't even convey how big this actually... How tiny this actually is because my hand's so big. You know? It's like... Palm of my hand. Okay? To give you an example there, palm of my hand palm of my hand. That'll give you an idea of how tiny that is. I, I just don't get it at all. I don't. But, um, I'm going to stop this, this um, vlog in a little minute. I just wanted to make it live because I wanted to get it out there quick and, and make it nice and easy with myself just because there's going to be a whole bunch of work going on through there again very, very soon and when that happens I can't be arsed rendering or editing and shit like that. But, Personal opinions, guys. Right, go. Uh, the Vaping Gamer Guy. I have an e-liquid company and started out making liquid in my kitchen, but also use the best ingredients. Well, you see, that's the thing. I mean, even like folk like yourself are going to get affected by this. You know, it's like, yeah, I mean, we can, you, can buy, you can buy like all the ingredients and make it yourself and stuff, but there's those of us who are lazy asses like myself who want to go out to a shop or order it online who's going to have to deal with that tiny little fucking tiny bottle. It's a bunch of bollocks. It really is. It's bullshit, man. But um, I didn't know there was a vaping gamer guy. I'm also a gamer guy who vapes, but I never thought of calling myself that. But you know. Um, oh, no, Shai's just linking me. Thank you. Thank you, Shari. They're not trying to ban them. They're trying to regulate them out of existence. The, the tank sizes, even the coils, coils are going to be almost impossible to come by soon. And that's bullshit you know it's like what harm does a coil do it's a component why wouldn't i not be able to buy a component it's not tpd you know you can't buy these things anymore because it's not tpd well tough shit i'm just gonna have to go online and and you know uh, a coil okay inside each um tank you need to have a heating element right bear with me if i get a the packet these heating elements like this, are what heat up the vape. Um, they're, they've got cotton, they've got little coils of um, wire in them, just to sort of give you a layman's sort of idea of it. They've got little um, sections of wire inside them, and um, they heat up the vape to produce the vapor. They heat, up the, sorry, they heat up the liquid to produce the vapor, which we then inhale, exhale, and it turns to water vapor and flies away into the ether and disappears with no harmful effects to anyone outside of it. I, <laughs> Barbie Serpent is, um, is my drug lord, apparently. 
Um, not really, okay? I don't, kids, don't do drugs unless they are prescribed by your physician, okay? I'll just be very clear on that one. The more you know, just so you know, and all that. Hi. Good steez. <laughs> okay, yes. Anyway, so. <laughs> Vape Lord. Um, I, I mean, I didn't notice there was this huge fad on YouTube where people were calling themselves Vape God and things like that. And it was like dank memes with vaping. And it's like, what the fuck? Seriously? You know, it's like, I, I literally use... I literally started vaping to stop myself from smoking. It was not anything other than that. I don't do tricks with it. I don't go fancy with it. I vape because I don't want to be a smoker. That's it. That's all there is to it. People who start vaping who are not smokers, I don't get them. I don't. Um, vaping Gamer Guy, people make me laugh because they act like e-liquids as a pharmaceutical product but everything in it is food grade. Uh, some of the nicotine uh, but in the past, nicotine wasn't pharmaceutical, so e-liquid's technically a food. I know, I know, but I wouldn't eat it. But, you know, it's, it's like... It's, it's insanity. It truly is insanity. It's just... <sighs> Where are you from, anyway, if you've been gaming, gamer guy? I probably know you, and I just don't recognise the name. Don't know you then, Florida. You're okay. You're okay, dude. You're not getting all that shit just now, are you? I don't know. I've, I've heard Florida's actually quite vape friendly. Um, as far as I know, don't quote me on that though. Um, <laughs> you can just imagine that Florida. It's kind of vape friendly, says a Scotsman. The quote of the year. Um, but no, the UK has just been absolute bollocks. I mean, right. It's, you might have missed the start of this uh, vaping gamer guy, but we were just saying that the tanks we're getting now have been reduced to a two milliliter tank, right? That's all we're getting is two milliliter tanks, tiny, tiny, ass-handed tanks that just will, you know, yeah. Tell me about it. And it's not even our laws. This is the, the European laws, right? We voted to come out of the European Union to get away from laws like this, but they're still getting put down because the bloody Conservative Party are like, oh, no, 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 we are all rich. We don't, we, we, we like to smoke our cigarettes outside the Parliament and all that, yes. Um, we don't like vapors. They make us no money. Fucking arseholes. Drippers are, <laughs> drippers are banned outright. They're, they're gone. You're not allowed those. You're not allowed drippers. If you got, if you can make your own stuff, great. But try and buy one of those after this. No, no, can't do it. Can't do it. Illegal, basically. A dripper is basically like a tank that you open the top of and you put a few droplets of liquid in, and it's closer to the surface. Most of the the actual clear miser tanks, which is this kind of tank, have the same effect as a dripper now. Bongs are never been allowed here. You can buy them, but you just, well, here, now, there's the thing. Okay, you can buy drug smoking paraphernalia in a lot of different shops in the UK, as long as you don't use it, which people obviously are gonna do. So, why can't we buy this stuff and say, oh, it's just for, you know, display. Obviously, we're just displaying it. We're not gonna use it, it's just display. <sighs> nuts man really really nuts but by the time I've run out of these coils I'm hoping something's been done I really am we protested we put out letters to our members of parliament we put yeah under the guise of a tobacco product but that's the issue these aren't tobacco there's nothing tobacco in them I mean for fuck's sake nicotine comes from potatoes sometimes you can get nicotine from like tobacco plants, you can get them from eggplant, um, you get it in potato, you get it in tomatoes for fuck's sake. Nicotine's a naturally occurring, you know, chemical in your brain anyway. So, what are they gonna do? Ban your brain? Oh no, my god, his brain has nicotine. Stop the thoughts, stop him thinking, stop him, stop him. No more thinking for you, sir. No more thinking for you. 
yeah, peppers, lettuces, nicotine is a naturally occurring product in many different things, and it's about as harmful as fucking coffee. I mean, you drink too much coffee, you're going to have problems in your life, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's why peppers are so addictive, man. But, um, you know, it's like, it's there's this big massive thing here, like, contains, product contains nicotine, which is a highly addictive substance. Bullshit, it's not! Okay, I could put this down at any time. I could stop vaping whenever I wanted to and not go back to it. You know? Sandpaper's a dick. Sorry. Uh, yes, that's my opinion and that's all there is to it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I just really enjoy it. I don't think they want to kill us off. I just think they want to squeeze as much money out of us as possible. Um, because one of the other things I've heard is they're actually going to lower the prices of traditional tobacco and cigarettes at the same time as bringing these into so-called easy regulation. I mean, this is just heavy-handed nonsense that's just fear-mongered, absolute twatish twat shite, you know? I don't... I can't think of words hard enough for it. I really can't. I just want to... I just want to make that completely and utterly clear that while I'm for certain types of regulation, heavy-handed regulations should be totally out. I uh, read the studies, nicotine isn't addictive, it's antidepressives and fags. It's, that's that's what I'm saying, but everything has a mild addiction to it. For example, I am addicted to drinking liquids because I am. I'm addicted to eating food because it keeps me alive. I'm addicted to this because I want to do it. I'm not addicted to it. It's a thing I like to do. I do this for me. I don't do this because I have to, I do this because I want to. Unlike cigarettes where I did it because I had to. I had so many bad cravings and shakes and you know, it, it was horrible. When I, when I, every time I tried to quit smoking I felt absolutely, massively, insanely horrible. It was, I was coughing my lungs up, I was, not literally, you know, like the black gunk and stuff like that. I, I was shaking, I was desperate, I mean desperate for my next cigarette and I hated smoking. I hated it. But then when I started this, yeah. Do you know what? I still had some of those side effects, some of those, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Withdrawal symptoms, that's the one. Um, I had the withdrawal symptoms, but they weren't as bad. I didn't have the cravings. The cravings were gone. You know, I didn't have the shakes or anything. I had the coughing, which lasted a couple of days. But then after those few days, I started getting taste back. I couldn't believe how amazing things like chocolate tasted. I started eating stuff I'd never eaten before in my life. I know, you just enjoyed doing it. And, and I, I, was, I started breathing more easily. I started being able to walk further until the whole thing with my leg happened, but that's a completely different thing that's completely unrelated. But I enjoyed it while it lasted. And I felt so much better about myself. My, my skin cleared up, I didn't get spots and stuff. My beard stopped going quite as grey. You know, it's insane. But, um, oh, we've got Zinka here, and Zinka says, I'm not sure if this contents of liquid so much as the mechanism of delivery that could be problematic. Nebulizers are generally pretty sterile, but vaping seems to be, seems to me to risk fungal infection. I would say no, um, because bizarrely enough, propylene glycol is also very cleansing. Um, no, these, we, we keep these things clear. We do, we keep these things clean and tidy and stuff like that. I mean, there are methods of, of cleaning them out. The tanks are washed out when we when we change the liquids. Um, we remove the coils when we're done with them and put in new coils. Um, the drip tips, they come off. Everything on these comes to pieces so they can be cleaned thoroughly. So there's no really any major risk. And I've never actually heard of anyone getting a fungal infection from vaping. That's, that's actually a new one. Um, that I've never heard before. Um, I'll have to. I'll have to look into that. I'll, I'm going to look into that um, because it's just one of those weird things. Um, yeah, they are antibacterial. That's right, vaping gamer guy. I need to shorten your name. I'm just going to call you gamer guy. Okay. Uh, we all know you vape. Okay. Um, unfortunately, these comments don't come up and after the live stream, but. You can comment again once the live stream becomes a video. Also, nice to see you here, Zincast. It's going to be fucking early for you, man. Um, God damn it, dog hair. Uh, but yeah, it's literally, I mean... Vaping is a choice. 
um, a choice that I made. I chose to give up cigarettes and I chose to use vaping to help me and it helped me a damn sight more than any nicotine replacement therapy that the government could cook up. I tried the patches, they gave me a rash. I tried the spray and there was a hilarious side effect that made me salivate so much I had to stand over a basin for half an hour because it was like a river. Um, I tried the inhalators, they did nothing for me, they tasted weird and they made me feel sick. Um, I tried uh, Ch Champix at one point but it made me feel suicidal. Um, so I was off that pretty damn quick and that was a very fast experience. I mean it was like two pills down, Derek was to kill himself. So we, we, we cottoned on that was what was causing it very very quickly so I stopped and nothing that the the nicotine replacement, even the gum, the gum was horrible. It, it left me feeling like I wanted to smoke even more. And what's the thing that all these things have in common? Nicotine. But it's not the nicotine that we're trying to replace. It's everything else that's in a cigarette. It's all the different chemicals that are put into cigarettes. Not to mention the fact that when these chemicals are burned, they react with one another and it becomes, I think, we, the last the last count was like these 20, 20 or 30 chemicals that are put into cigarettes when combined and combusted become 6,000 separate types of chemicals including formaldehyde which you know is part of a cigarette you know these dangerous chemicals these addictive chemicals which are added to the cigarettes to increase the amount of time they can stay on the shelf for are what were killing us those were the carcinogens these, however, contain absolutely no carcinogenics. There's nothing carcinogenic in these. There's food, I mean, f most, like like a vaping gamer guy said, you know, these are basically food. This food grade ingredient stuff that you eat every day, and everyone's like, oh, but what effect does it have on your lungs? Do you not breathe when you eat? Have you no lungs? You know? Um, what we got here? Um, this prescribed antidepressants to people who want to quit smoking. Oh well, yeah, I mean it's a depressing experience. You are basically removing a chemical from your brain that is in a cigarette, which which improves your your happiness, your enjoyment of life, etc. And that's not in, actually in vape. Um, it's just one of those things. I mean, nicotine has actually been proven to help with various different diseases, including things like Parkinson's and dementia. I mean, nicotine actually is part of what keeps your brain cells bonded um, together. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't know anymore. I just. I just want to make it very, very clear, though. I do not advocate vaping in people who are not vapors to begin with. Okay, vaping was my way of quitting smoking. I continually to I continue to do so because I like how it tastes and what I do with it. Okay, my nicotine level in this is six milligrams, which is incredibly low. Um, breathe in boiling vinegar while cooking will mess up your lungs. I, I know that even inhaling coffee can mess up your lungs. You know, um, anything you inhale. Think about what you inhale when you walk down a busy street. You know, with a lot of cars and everything. Um, you're inhaling all those toxic fumes every single day of your life. Your your body's basically adapted to it. If you were to ever go somewhere with healthy, healthy air, you'd feel sick as fuck from withdrawal symptoms. Um, but, yes, yeah, uh, point, point six, I think we would call this. Um, yeah, it's just six, six milligrams of, of uh, nicotine. Um, to give you an example, cigarettes contain about, what was it, 20... Eight milligrams of nicotine. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've looked that up. But, but like I said, I'm not against people who are against vaping. I'm not against people who are are, are with or are pro smokers. I'm not against anyone. Uh, all right, Zinka. No worries, buddy. Um, we'll hopefully catch you when you do an extreme at some point. Um, for folk who don't know, it's X I N G C A T. Zinka, go and check him out. He does these awesome puppet show things, and he does like three ingredient um, recipes and stuff like that. And he doesn't swear as much as I do. Fucking doesn't swear as much as I do. <laughs> but yeah. Um, in fact, for those of you who are um, what who are actually watching just now. I'll give each of you a little bit of a shout out in a wee minute or two, but just not quite yet. I'll do that in a wee minute or two.
and check out my own gaming channel as well, of course. I have a gaming channel. Um, but, like I said, you know, vape, vaping should, be, should have been left to the vapor. Uh, one second is about 1.5 of nicotine, so I'm, 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 I'm 0.6. So, I don't, he probably swears in his real life, but I don't think he swears on his videos. Um, <laughs> but yeah, points, points, in fact, this is not point zero six. I don't know. Um, I vape, that's all there is to it. I don't see the harm in it. I don't see anything wrong with it. I see harm in smoking cigarettes. I would rather people vaped than smoke cigarettes, and I would rather people had the opportunity to vape the way that I vaped, the way that my friend Industrial Angel vapes. Um, and that's all there is to it. Anyway, so we're going to end this stream for today. Um, sorry about the long rant for the people who are watching this as a video. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, vaping Gamer Guy, half is burned out when burning and only half of that is actually inhaled, so like 0.3% in one cigarette. Uh, heavily Gamer, also a vapor. When I started to vapor, I used 24 milligrams of nicotine. Yeah, it's, the more you smoke, the, the more you need it. Um, that's indeed true. Um, Ashley Webby, yeah, no, certainly there is nothing wrong with a vape. There is absolutely nothing wrong with a vape. There is something wrong with having a tiny, tiny bottle instead of that. Okay, big bottle, less waste. Tiny, tiny bottle with a metal needle on top. Much more waste. Not recyclable. But, oh my god. Anyway, so, for those of you who want a shout out, please say so now and I will give you a shout out. I would hope you would love vaping more than smoking heavily, gamer. It's a lot less harmful for you. We're not going to say it's 100% har harmless, you know, it's not. It's not. There's risks with everything. So, uh, one at a time, please. So, one of you, uh, one at a time, and I'll give you um, each a shout out. So, if you don't get your shout out by the time I finish the first one. Okay, first off, we have Burpee Star Princess, who plays things like Naruto and. Um, Grand Theft Auto, so if you want to go and check out Burpee Star Princess, I'm sure she will comment on the video um, below when this actually comes out as a video and says, check me out, I had a shout out. That's what you got to say, check me out, I had a shout out. New catchphrase, oh, funky. Uh, probably like breathing air, yeah, definitely. Um, okay, um, Ashley Webby, um, go and check out Ashley Webby as well. Um, Go and subscribe. Ashley Webby will, of course, hopefully remember when this becomes a video to say, check me out, I got a shout out, or whatever it was I said before. I forgot my own catchphrase. Um, why well, I always come at the end of the stream? I'm streaming again tonight, buddy. I'm streaming again at 7 o'clock UK time on my gaming channel. Uh, also, check out um, Heavily Gamer as well. Um, he is also a, an awesome gamer. Ashley, what, what is it you actually... Um, tell tell me a little bit more about your channel, Ashley, because um, my brain is not working just now. I'm just I'm I'm knackered today. Uh, check out the vaping gamer guy. Guess what the vaping gamer guy does? Hmm, it's the space vaping space gamer space guy. Yeah. So anyone else want to shout out? Can I, can I shout myself out? I'll do it. Okay, I'm not holding myself a good point. Uh, check out my other channel, Scottish Geek Plays, um, where I do horror games and um, things like... I'm doing a lot of live streams just now, but I'll be finishing soon. I'm going to go back to recording very, very soon. So um, I do a lot of gameplay, so I will be live streaming tonight. I'll probably be playing The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus tonight um, because that was requested. Um, Ashley Webby vapes and plays Call of Duty. Awesome, okay. I'm not great at games like that, okay. So kudos to you. I suck at first person shooter games. Um, so today I will be playing, of course, uh, Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. If you want to come check me out, that's Scottish Geek Plays. There's usually a link, but there won't be one in this one. So go and it'll be somewhere in this channel. There'll be links to it somewhere. Um, what else do we have here? Play more. Uh, Burpee Star Princess is going to play more Amazing Frog. The Vaping Gamer Guy plays Forza. Wow. Vapors and gamers for the win. Anyway, guys, yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, you can continue to chat here, or you can wait till the video comes up, or of course you can continue the conversation on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys later on. But until then, bye bye.